Guys, Rich here at the Collector Car Gallery in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, we're taking a look at this 1957 uh, Chevrolet Corvette. <clears throat> Finished in Venetian red. We're going to do our underside video of this thing. And uh, this is for potential online buyer. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of crawl all over it. And I'm going to see, you know, what I like, what I don't like, what looks great, what doesn't look great. Uh, this is a great way to get a good view of, like, the underside of some of these areas that somebody might have like um, slacked on the finish maybe. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it. I'll try and keep everybody's bearings, you know, where I'm at on the car when I'm underneath it. Um, first impression underneath the driver's front fender. You can see under this chrome right here, everything looks really, really nice. Uh, this chrome is in excellent condition. We see this area down here where the, where the finish, uh, finish is just as good as it is on the top side on this Venetian red car. The bumperettes all look great. Chrome looks good. Chrome looks good on the underside too. We got a little bit of water spotting. You can see up under some of this chrome. See some of this water spots. But you can see those, those come right off and look very nice. It's kind of one of the, you know, when you buy a 57, you just plan on messing with these shark teeth all the time and making sure they look great. But the chrome looks absolutely phenomenal. Looks really good. Chrome underside on the on the um, on the passenger side looks very good. Headlight bezels look great. <coughs> yeah, very nice. Okay, so we're gonna dive right in underneath here. Um, the person I bought this car from, uh, they were driving this thing, you know, 30, 40 miles at a time. Uh, they drove it 30 miles to come visit me, so I'm pretty certain that it's a roadworthy car. You can see it looks like we got a lot of newer bolts and stuff. This is a little bit older restoration. It was probably finished about 10 years ago, but it, it really never got driven uh, too much. So, and kept in a climate controlled building. So everything looks very tidy still. Um, looks really nice under here. Looks very nice. Let's jump underneath the car. We're gonna run down the, um, we're gonna run down the driver's side like this. And then we're gonna um, come back the outside, I'll kind of keep your bearings of where we're at. Uh, this is a numbers matching engine and transmission car. Long time ownership history on this piece also. Um, <clears throat> it looks like we might have a little bit of a, of a drip here uh, from the seal. I don't see anything from the, from the pan, really. I don't see any drips down the pan, but I do see a little bit of a drip uh, in here um, between the, uh, the, pan, or the uh, engine and transmission. Um, it also looks like, so right here I see a little bit of, uh, of th this frame was powder coated and the, the first coat of epoxy was the, a white. I, I, I can tell that from the pictures that I see. And you can see where something has kind of eaten into this just a little bit, um, whether it was an old, you know, some fluid that ran down there or something like that. But that's the, really the only bad spot. As we look up here, all this looks really nice and fresh. You know, fresh bolts, everything looks really good. Inside of the frame, just, I mean, very nice. Everything looks very appropriate the way it should look. Lots of new stuff. Uh, AC, <coughs> AC Delco shocks. Um, probably should have been spiral shocks from the factory, but this is definitely an upgrade for the car if you're going to be driving it around. Um, original rear end, I don't see, maybe a little seeping from here, but nothing major. Um, as we're inspecting the frame here, bear with me. Uh, inspecting the frame, everything looks nice, I don't see any spots. I'm over on the passenger side now, and I'm going to walk up the passenger side, looking at the inside of the frame. Frame looks very good here also. Lots of new brake lines, looks like new stainless brake lines. Frame looks great. Looks like we got one little clip that's come out that holds that in. Not a big deal. Looks like they all come out. So that would need refastened. Not, not a big deal though. Very nice. Yeah, really nice. Really nice all over, really. Okay, let's look up here. <coughs> Looks like a really old, there's even still cobwebs up in there. <laughs> this right here looks to me like a very old uh, uh, patch. Everybody's got to keep in mind that on these, on these Corvettes, the, what 
you know, the, the bumper, if anything touches the bumper, that's where they crack is right there. So let's look at the driver's side too. Driver's side looks good. I don't see any patches up there, but you know, when you see that telltale, I'm going to step outside here. Hopefully I'm not making anybody nauseous, but when you see this, <coughs> the telltale, the common crack right there, it's because the bumpers are not supported by the, the frame, right? Anything that touches them, it'll just like put a little crack right there. So I think that's a patch right there. A very old one, very good one. You can't see it from the top side, but I see it under there. looks like maybe this got a little tap at one point in time. Um, let's look down the, the passenger side of the frame now. All this looks very nice. Looks very nice. Frame looks very good on the outside and so, so do the floors. <coughs> the finish looks very nice down here. Definitely not skimped. Uh, it's finished all the way down to where it's supposed to be. It looks very nice. As we're looking for any patches up in here, I don't see anything right now. Looks very nice. Okay, let me go around to the back side of the car. All this chrome is in excellent condition. Excellent condition. These chrome bumpers are in excellent condition. I don't see it. It's not thin in the pits here or anything. It's my understanding that all original chrome, with all original pieces were used and just and re-chromed. So really great ownership history on this car too. I mean, same owner since 1972. This, this little um, spear looks great. No issues. Yeah, finished all the way down too. Looks nice. Maybe a few little, a few little, um, a few little chips here, but nothing major. Looking at the outside of the frame on the driver's side, you can see here all this looks great. I mean, just, you know, powder coated frame, really, really finished out nicely. No issues. Everything looks great. Yeah, that's what happened. So it looks like a brake line might have been leaking and, and brake fluid will just, you know, it'll eat out, it'll eat anything up. So it looks like a brake line started leaking maybe and then just dripped down this way at one point in time. That could easily be sanded and, and freshened up, but it just kind of ate some of the finish off the frame right there. That's kind of a shame, but easily fixable for sure. Um, okay, let's head back to the back of the car again real quick. Um, we're gonna look for any patches up in here. I'm at the passenger side rear of the car right now. All this looks very nice, I don't see any patches. Uh, looks looks really good. I'm looking up in the wheel wells. Even if the you know if you if the camera's not showing it, I'm looking way up here in the wheel wells right now, and I see I don't see any patches anywhere except for that one up front. So here's the body on the driver's side. I hope I'm not making anybody lose their bearings here, but here's the body on the driver's side. All looks very nice. And then front of the car, back of the car is behind me. I'm just going to look at the body on the passenger side here also. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this car overall. So. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to let it off the lift. We're going to do our top side walk around now. Um, but uh, overall, I think it's a really, really um, uh, fair assessment and honest assessment of this car, and it looks great. Uh, I really only see one or two little things um, that that I don't think are a, a, an issue at all, um, but they're worth pointing out to somebody who is buying it from any kind of distance away. It's just some spray wax I had on it. So, yeah, it looks nice. Okay, guys, well, that's our video, <coughs> and uh, we'll get the top side of the vehicle for everybody to see also, and uh, then we'll we'll wrap this up. Thanks a lot, Collector Car Gallery, Fort Wayne, Indiana.